Hello everyone, in this video we are going to present the directory structures. This is a part of the storage management in file, store, file structure, file systems and let us see what are all the different types of directories available. Here, actually what is a directory? The directory is a collection of all information about the files. Here we can see here, this is a directory okay, and then under the directory they can have many files. So both directory structure and the files reside on the disk. Now th there are different types of directory structure. First one is a single level directory structure where there is a single directory for all the users. Here you can see the directory, the users, CAT, BO, EA, TST. So everything, this is for the common directory for the all users. And from the directory they are having the files. Okay, so here what is the problem here is the naming problem and the grouping problem. Actually what is naming problem is we cannot have the same name of the file because the directory is also single. So the same name will be in conflict. So we can so we can also there will be also a grouping problem. We cannot group the files into some defined names. Okay, so that's what we are going for the next thing which is then let us see the advantage in the single level director what is the advantage is its implementation is very easy because the it is a simple structure and then file creation searching deletion updating everything is also are also easy what is the problem here is there are chances of name collision because two files cannot have the same name if there is different directories then one directory the same name can be in different directories so that is the advantage of this two directory system what is two level directory system is different users can have the same directory as the as well as the file name okay and then actually what does it mean is different users have the same directory as well as the file name that means they, in the same directory they have some file name okay and so that is when there is two level directory the access of the file is done to the first level then to the second level that means if there is a same directory name is also is not a problem okay so searching of files become more easy due to the path name and the user grouping we can group the user directory wise what is the problem here is the user is not allowed to share the files with the others okay so that is the disadvantage of this two level directory the next one is let us see the diagram this is the separate directory for each user you can see here user 1 he is having own his own directory and that the files are here and this is the second user their own directory their files are there and user 3 their files are there and here user 4 their files are there you can see the file name is a here the file name is a a and a so same file name a is repeated in different directories but it doesn't have a problem because it is referred from the first level so user 1 dot a user 2 dot a that makes a difference so that is the that means they can have the same file name or the for the different users okay and then efficient searching so why it, why does efficient searching is we can go through the user by user and directory by the directory no grouping capability is possible here okay so here next one is the tree structured directories as the name implies it has a root and then it is a, has a subdirectory and then subdirectory and so on so this is an extension of a two level directory in two level directory only two levels are there first level and the second level here there are multiple levels of directories are there so we can every file has, has its own unique directory suppose if i want to say this file all i have to say the spell and then dst in that the prt and then spell main then prt and then this first file so i have to go through this unique path to reference this file same way i have to go through the path so every file has an unique path in the tree structure directories but here the level is more okay that's the difference so the tree has a root directory and every file in the system has an unique path what is the advantage here it is very generalized since full path name can be given very scalable the property of the name collection is less okay so the name collection is less in the sense that is same name can be in different subdirectories that is not a problem because you always refer from the root directory subdirectory subdirectory and so on so the name collection is less searching becomes very easy because there is an both relative and the absolute path what is the relative path is we are starting from the root that is the absolute path what is relative path is from their directory 
from second level to next file from third level to next the file name so that is called relative file name absolute means from the root till the file name relative means in between you can refer to any subdirectory name that is a relative name okay so what is the disadvantage of this tree structure is we cannot share the files because as you know generally what is the mathematical definition of tree is the tree cannot have a cycle there is no loop that means the sharing of file is not possible okay and then it is inefficient because accessing a file may go under multiple directories so when you are going to search for a file you have to go through many directories because we are having multiple levels so that will have more of memory access time okay so this is the it's just a continue here absolute or relative name creating a new file is done in the current directory so deleting the files done by rm rm is remove file name and how to make a directory mkdr mkdr means dir means make directory and directory name so this is how suppose if i say in the this is called the, the slash mail is the directory name from there i am going to create a file called count so from mail the count will be added okay so deleting the mail deleting the entire subtree rooted by the mail if suppose if that is called the one root suppose if i delete the mail all the dependent files all will be deleted that is the dependency in the tree structure okay so now here next one is then acyclic graphic graph directories here this have shared subdirectories and the files okay here we can see here the files can be shared over here so here dict is the root and spell is also the root from there one sub directory is there here also sub directories are there but here these two directories dict and spell can share this files count that is the advantage of this acyclic directories and difference between the tree and the graph okay so you can see here an acyclic graph is a graph with no cycle and allows to share sub directories and files the same file or sub directories may be in two different directories that's how we see now and what is the advantage is we can share the files searching is easy due to the different paths okay and then what is the disadvantage of this uh, structure is we share the files via linking in case of deleting it may create the problem suppose the link is soft link then after deleting the file we left with the dancing point actually what is dancing pointer is actually we have two links here soft link and hard link what is soft link is if you delete a file after deleting the file also the pointer will be dancing that means the pointer will is it is indicating it is having some value to refer the file that is called dancing pointers in the case of hard link after deleting the file the entire pointer will be deleted that is called all the reference will be deleted there is no reference at all the for the file that means from the root it will be delete, deleted that is called as an hard link okay so these are all the disadvantages of having this sharing via the links okay and then this is the general graph directory so you can see here the root and then sub directories and then sub directories you can see here this book is common to avi and then jam the sub directories but here there is no sharing this is different this avi book is of this directory and this avf does this directory okay so here it's like since it's a graph cycles are allowed okay so here cycles are allowed means you can see the closeness over here okay so cycles are allowed you can see this is the cycle the closed type is called as a cycle okay so this type of thing is not available in the previous model which is the acyclic so acyclic means no cycle when a graph you have can cycles okay so cycles means it will, it will this will reference repeatedly HAP is a subdirectory, unhex is the file, and then again unhex is the file, then help. so this is the some graph type thing. There is a closed that closed path is available. Okay. And then in general, there are directory structure, cycles are allowed within a directory structure where multiple directories can be derived from the more than one parent directory. What is the advantage? It allows cycles, it is more flexible than other directory structures. What is the problem here? It is more costly than others. It needs garbage collection. What is garbage collection is after creating a directory, we add some files, then after we delete the directories. When we delete the directories, all reference should be deleted and that leaves some garbage data. There is unwanted data. So that should be done often, otherwise there will be a problem in the links which will be used for. So that's all about, that's all about the directory structures available and thanks for watching.